Happy Thursday, welcome back to my channel. I have got Kerry over today. We are hanging out this morning, doing some Christmas eating. catch up, eating. So I wanted to do a Christmas foodie video on my channel, and obviously Kerry's channel is the go-to place for family recipes, Aww. all things foodie. I'm not very foodie. Like, I eat food, but I'm not a good cook. I wouldn't come up with recipes. I'm so like, I, I eat to live. No, I live to eat. You just... I don't know what Eat I do. to live. Yeah, That's I'm it. just like, yeah. you know, I get so, I just, yeah, I'm not the best. But your recipes are very simple to follow. So head to Kerry channel if you like foodie things, but I wanted to do a video because I've been vegetarian my entire life since I was seven and I've really seen the changes in how many options there are now for veggies and vegans mm. and it's so good and for Christmas this year like it's just exploded like there's Plant Kitchen at M&S, Tesco's are in on the act, Lidl have amazing and they've all come out with these like vegetarian or vegan centrepieces for Christmas day so I'm excited I feel like I've waited all these years to have a really decent Christmas main. They're basically all pies. <laughs> So we're not going to make them all by ourselves. So what I did is I've gone to all the safe supermarkets and bought the bits I could find for all the vegan veggie centrepieces. They're all in the oven. We're going to try them out and just give you our honest verdict of where is the best place to get a really good vegetarian Christmas centrepiece, all vegan. Some of them are vegan as well. I didn't think me and Kerry could eat them just by ourselves. No. So I mean, I probably could have. <laughs> we could have, but it would be one of those mukbang videos. <laughs> We're just like, pies, pies. So we've got some friends coming around to help us rate and review them. And then Kerry has got some plans of her own for Christmas afterwards. Yeah. So once you've watched this video, head on over to my channel, SJ will link it down below. And um, come and see, because I am going to make like a masterpiece of a centerpiece. So we're gonna basically take away all the good things that we tried today, and then I'm going to create one final masterpiece having all the good bits of these things we're about to try so yeah if you're a vegan or veggie then definitely come over to my channel because my video hopefully will cater for you for christmas day so let's get on with our taste test and i think we've got some guests arriving as well <laughs> i just keep going <laughs> so she gets really nervous no, Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So it's true. I'm so glad to feel it too. So this is the Tesco <laughs> mushroom and soya. Half, guys. Jodie said this was her favourite looking piece. Oh really? Yeah. This is actually one of the only supermarkets who's doing like a meat substitute. So I think that's going to be really nice because you think about it, you're going to have so much veg on your plate mm. anyway. This is really yummy. This tastes mm. really good. Really yummy. Really does good. it taste, from a meat eater Sarah, does it taste like meat? I think it does. Oh, I think it does actually. It does. I don't know. No. No, I don't. No, I don't think it does. Should we not meet abuse you? No, no, no. I'm just gonna out her. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan. No, I really. For goodness' sake. No, I really like it. It's good, isn't it? And it has a yeah, bit of mushroom on the top, like a beef Wellington. I think it tastes like a sausage sort of roll. Mm. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, more than yeah. a beef yeah. Wellington. Yeah. yeah, it actually does. Thing is with Tesco, I was quite disappointed. So I went in there. They've got some gorgeous, gorgeous veggie vegan centerpieces on their website. Oh, yeah. But I went to one of the they're biggest hypermarkets. Store. They're not in store. You can only order them online and only from the 20th of December. Oh, really? Oh, wow. That's a bit yeah. late, isn't it? That's really late. late. Yeah. So it's late. Mm, but I will, really but late. I will put them on the screen so you can see them. Oh, have a look. I think with vegetarian food, I personally prefer it when it's actual vegetables rather yeah, than trying to substitute meat. meat. Well, yeah. then everyone yeah, will enjoy absolutely. it. Okay. This is a parsnip pie. Parsnip pie from Higgity, very Merry Christmas pie. Oh, braised red cabbage, that'd be nice. I really love a braised red cabbage. I feel like the sweetness and sharpness mm. of it is really good with uh, different ingredients. Mm. I'm still on the other one. I wasn't finish expecting that. Mmm, tastes like a mm. glass of wine. <laughs> oh my god, it does. Does it? it? Does red it? wine, yeah. I don't taste wine in it. Dark brown sugar, onions, red I like wine, wine, vinegar, and red wine, and ruby wine. Jenny and I are like, no, we really, yeah. really hated it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the reason I got this, Kerry, so I picked this up. Obviously, it's not a Christmassy thing. Yeah. But I thought, because Kerry does a really good toad in the hole. You wanted to compare. I thought, I actually think toad in the hole is quite a nice yeah, veggie yeah. meal. <laughs> Sorry, cut you off. <laughs> I was like, oh god. We're wondering whether or not Kerry can festive up a toad, do a festive toad in the hole. Ooh, that would be nice. This one was the one that is probably the most expensive. This is the M&S Plant Kitchen. So this isn't just any <laughs> nut roast. <laughs> they still do that. Right, so for me, um, <laughs> Kerry's face is putting me off. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's, no. Do you know what the thing is with me, right? I. Yeah. I can never have like a pineapple on pizza, you know. I'm not. Um, I'm not good with um, sweet, same. sweet and savoury at the same time. Oh. So for me, this That's is not so good. It's so sweet. Mm. It's really sweet. It's got really loads good. of um, what are they? They apricots. Apricot and cranberry. Mm. Yeah. I don't like it. No, sorry, I'm not even wasting the calories on that. And I think if you were a veggie and you're used to a nut roast and you're used to that kind of thing, you might like it. But for me, I just don't. No, but the point of a nut roast is that it's like compliments the rest because it's so savoury yeah. and salty, and that yeah. is really sweet. And that is like. Mm. No. Okay, so this is another nut roast, so let's compare the two. This is a vegan nut roast. Doesn't look as nice. It's just too mushroomy for me. I like it. Oh, you like it? But do you think that's because you're veggie and you're used to it? See, for <laughs> me, I um, it's dry. Not as sweet as the other at all. It's really bitter, but I like mm. that. Ducks, right, so we're just about to try Another the Wellington. little butternut squash and goat's cheese Wellington. Mm, I, I can see some. Chickpeas in here. Uh huh. Presentation wise, it's nice. It's a big yeah. Centipede. Really nice. That completely like overtakes the Waitrose and Marks and Spencer's nut roast, in my opinion. Yeah, easily. That is delicious. I would say yes, but I also don't think it's very festive. I don't yeah. think it's very festive either. That's but but, but nice. what's it's better, nice being festive or tasting yeah. amazing? Yeah. So this Linda McCartney is like a savoury roast, but it's mm. not nuts. But I think for a a vegetarian on your plate is going to be the most equivalent of like a turkey that just mm -hmm. uh, is com complements the other yeah. um, flavours. That's the flavours work, yeah. I'm getting so far. <laughs> cool. Linda McCartney is, was like the pioneer of like mm -hmm. meat substitutes. <laughs> yeah, we're not fans. Where's the turkey? <laughs> mm, this is quite nice actually, look, whole mushrooms coming out there. Oh, I love a mushroom me. This Pass is a parsnip me. and portobello mushroom pie. Oh no, oh. No, I don't like it either. Oh, I love it. Do I you? like it. Yeah. I've only had one that is literally so like not I great now. It almost reminds me of um. Mm. Like we're gonna say pickled onions. Yeah. Yeah. Pickled yeah. onions. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. it. I, I like pickled onions. So yeah, don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so yeah. Sarah's had to go home. She has a prior commitment. <laughs> She's she went to labour, guys. Yeah. You heard it here first. <laughs> She's just under the table. Keep going, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep well, pushing. We <laughs> So we're going to tuck in, this is the M&S as seen on TV, Brie, um, I think it's called a Brie on Crete, so it's in pastry, Brie. I have in stores now, it's not obviously a centrepiece. It would be my centrepiece. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is like for the evening, you have an early lunch. Yeah. It's for 12 people. Oh. We've had to eat what? all the food, and all we want is to eat this. <laughs> what do you think? You've got no room. Really. <laughs> Can nice? like, this is one, serves one. Oh my gosh. Is it good? Like oh wow! I just don't think you can ever go wrong with something like this. Mm -hmm. like, there was garlic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. garlic, garlic goes in this. That's I'm not, delicious. I'm not mad on. On brie? Not mad on brie. What? Get out. Get out of your own house. <laughs> so what are we thinking? So delicious. Yeah. I obviously really couldn't good. go to every single supermarket that has Christmas ranges out. So I've been to the ones that you've seen. Um. So and also. Tesco bringing more stuff out later mm -hmm. on, as I said, and Waitrose were a little bit early. And I said to the girls, she fancies Christmas at mine, and everyone was like, come in. Hell yeah. <laughs> Couldn't hold them back until December. <laughs> uh, what's our number one favourite? Does anyone remember? I think the little Yeah, the crossover. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm, that was nice, yeah. that kind of like pie that went in like that. But um, I think I might create something that is um, pie based, but not like a nut roast where you have the, the like sweetness of fruit cutting through it, but I'm going to put something else in there that will make it feel a little bit lighter so it's not just like a really kind of dense. Yeah. yeah. So I'll have it in the shops next month. I'll link it down below <laughs> next time. <laughs> yeah. Imagine this time next year. I know. It's on the shelf. Carrie Wilkes' range. 
supported <laughs> by three posts. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, girls, for coming around. Thanks, Thanks for having a bit of Christmas oh, taste yeah. with us. Big hands up to the supermarket just for getting this stuff out because it's been many years of very yeah, boring definitely. veggie Christmases. Not much to do. Go to Kerry's channel now, see the recipe that she creates, and we'll have it as a downloadable as well so you can create it at home and scale it up as many people as you have. And I will be giving it a go. It has to be easy. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah definitely. Everything I make is easy, otherwise I don't make it. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's channel is linked below and we will see you very soon for more Christmassy bits. Bye bye! Bye! bye. Sorry, come out the pressure. <laughs> <laughs>